This is my first experience with EM navigation for a MIPS procedure. This patient had a large subacute right frontal hemorrhage. We chose a high forehead incision for this patient with the EM navigation emitter placed accordingly to the side of the patient's head. The non-invasive patient tracker is placed lower on the forehead away from the incision site so it may not be displaced during the procedure. To enable a MIPS procedure with EM navigation, an adapter is used to integrate the EM pointer with the brain path obturator. This hematoma was under a lot of pressure and we had a good evacuation. Nico Brain Path with electromagnetic navigation creates an efficient procedure where frameless stereotaxy can be utilized. I found this especially helpful for certain ICH evacuations and for our patients who cannot be pinned.